Named after the explorer Magellan, Chile's Magallanes region and its capital Punta Arenas are known as the gateway to Antarctica, a place so cold you need heating nearly year-round. Scientists at the University of Magallanes investigating why a remote region with only 1% of the population is registering nearly 20% of the country's cases of COVID-19 have discovered a new strand of coronavirus has taken over. That mutation phenomenon happened everywhere in the world at the beginning of the pandemic simultaneously. But this time, it's restricted to a new wave and to a particular geographic location. This strand once existed in very small quantities elsewhere, but for reasons still unclear, it has expanded only in Magallanes. The virus's adherence protein is different, but what that implies is still unclear. What is clear is that unlike the first wave in April, since August, infections in Magallanes have been steadily increasing, despite a strict lockdown. Earlier this week, the number of people infected in Magallanes was the same as here in the capital, except that Magallanes has the lowest population density in the country, 170,000 versus 8 million here in Santiago. Experts say there could be many reasons, including the weather, but they can't rule out that the new strand of the virus is mainly to blame. The Pan American Health Organization is assisting Chilean scientists in an effort to know more, especially to confirm whether this new version of COVID-19 is far more contagious than previous strands. If that hypothesis is validated, it would obviously be worrisome because of the degree of the contagion we are seeing in Magallanes were to spread nationwide, it would mean 25,000 new cases per day, and that is a dangerous scenario indeed. And while the scientific community attempts to determine the consequences of this mutation, Air Force planes have started medevacking critical patients 3,000 kilometers from Magallanes to the capital to ensure that hospitals will be able to cope with the unrelenting viral outbreak. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.